Oh, um, crap. Okay, we're doing one last lesson in triangles. It's something you actually haven't learned before, so it's a little new for you, but you know what? I'm going to teach it to you. Pay attention, open up those little ears of yours, and you know what? We're going to get through this together. So let me just read out the definition, then we'll just kind of take a look at what that means in practice, okay? So the definition for the angle side relationship in triangles is that the longest side in a triangle is the side opposite the largest angle. And the smallest side is always opposite the smallest angle. So there's a relationship between the sides and angles. And that makes sense because if you have a small angle, opposite that would be the smallest side. So let's just take a look at some questions, how we can answer them. And I think there's a little chart that becomes helpful. Now, for this first one on the left, we want to, for this triangle, determine the longest side and the shortest side. And what I like to do is just kind of organize my information by putting in the middle angle, middle biggest angle, the middle angle, and the smallest angle. Okay? And that's just smallest, but it's small, whatever. Now the biggest angle is angle C, right? And that angle is 95 degrees. So angle C is our biggest one. Our smallest, sorry, our middle angle is 50 degrees, and that's angle B. That's the middle one, right? And the smallest angle in this triangle is A. All right? Now, opposite these should give... So what we want to do is associate these angles with sides. Now, what we know is that the biggest angle is opposite the biggest side. So if we go across, you just go across from that angle, you hit this side BA. Okay? Across from the angle is BA. So the biggest side is going to be side BA because that's what's across from angle C. Makes sense, right? Now let's keep looking at this. The middle angle, angle B, is 50 degrees. All right? Oh, this is all messy. The middle angle right here is 50 degrees right here, okay? And opposite that, if I go across from here, I get to this side this side right here. And so we would say that side CA is the middle side because that's across the middle angle. And then finally, let's look at our final one, angle A, which is our smallest. If we go across from angle A, oh, if we go across from angle A, starting here, going all the way over here, we see that CB is our smallest side because that's across from our smallest angle. And that's it. That's just organizes our information. So if they said, what's the biggest side? It's BA because that's across from the biggest angle. And what's the smallest side? Well, that's CB because that's across from the smallest angle. Let's look at the opposite way around. If I know the sides, how can I determine the angles? Well, the biggest side here is YZ, right? Because YZ is our biggest side, all right? Nice and long, 15. Now, the angle opposite that would be X, right? So if I start here and I go across, I hit angle X. So this would be angle X is our biggest angle, okay? Now, our next one is XZ. That's our second biggest side. That's our middle one. So XZ is our middle side. And so that means our angle is the one across from it. So if we just go across, we just draw a line. That means angle Y is going to be the middle angle. And then finally, we know that XY is our smallest side. So across from that, if we go over here, angle Z is going to be our smallest angle. So this is what we got all our information organized now. Angle X is our biggest angle, and angle Z is our smallest, because these are what is across it. Did I put 9 here? I meant to say X, Y. Okay, now let's look at two real regions problems. All right? First one, right here. In triangle ABC, measure of angle A is 60, B is 80, and C is 40. Which one of these statements is true? Well, the first thing to do with these is just draw it. Draw it out, okay? We're going to just draw our triangle A, B, C, okay? And we're going to start by filling in the information that was given to us. We know that angle A is 60 degrees, okay? Angle B 
is 80 degrees, and angle C is 40 degrees. Okay? So our biggest angle is angle B, right? That's our biggest angle. And across from angle B, if we just draw our line across, we see that AC is our biggest side, okay? Now we go to our next one. We see that angle A is our second biggest side, so angle A. And across from angle A is side BC, all right? So that's our middle side. And then finally, let's go with purple again. Angle C is our smallest angle. And across from angle C is this side, and that's side AB. All right? So we know AC is our biggest, BC is our middle, and AB is the smallest. So let's just check these statements and see if they're true. It says that AB is bigger than BC. That's Remember, that's our greater symbol. Well, AB is actually our smallest one, so that couldn't be bigger than this. BC. So that's wrong. The next one says that AC is bigger than BC. Well, AC is our biggest side, so we know that it has to be bigger than BC. So this is probably the right answer. But let's just check the rest to see if, if they're true or not. It says that AC is smaller than BA. AC is smaller than BA or AB. Well, that doesn't make sense. AB wouldn't be bigger than the biggest side because AB is the small side. And finally, BC is smaller than BA. BC is smaller than BA. Well, that's not true because BA is the smallest, so it couldn't be bigger than this. And so we find our answer. Let's go to our second one. Once again, we have triangle PQR. We have PQ equals 8, QR equals 12, and RP equals 13. Which statement is true about the angles? Well, let's just draw this out. And label our sides. So we got P, Q, and R. Now we're going to label this P, Q is 8, Q, R, oh, P, Q, and R. Let's put R there. Q, R is 12, and R, P is 13. All right, so our largest side is P, R, okay? And our opposite P, R is Q, angle Q. Our second biggest side is side QR, okay? And opposite QR is angle P. And finally, our smallest side is side PQ. And opposite PQ is angle R. Now, we just have to order these. We know that Q is the biggest angle, R is the smallest angle. Well, which one of these says this? It should go in the order of Q, then P, then R. Well, let's go through them. P is bigger than, nope, because we know Q is the biggest. We can cross this out, and it's down to these two, where Q is the biggest. Well, the next one should be P, so that knocks this one out, and that leaves one as our answer. As long as you guys fill out this chart, you should be good to go and do your own regions problems. Good luck.